What's up, fellas? And my name is Jake, and welcome to the Tool Corner. Well, I got myself in a pretty bad situation on a job recently, and we had a driveway pour go wrong. And before we decided, you know, we've got to rip it out, I wanted to take photographs of what all the problems were. And a couple of them were kind of tight towards the foundation where a four foot level just really wouldn't show exactly the problem with the slope. Now, there's a decent chance this thing could be going to court. And I didn't want to rely on, you know, your old uh, $4 um, big box store level. I kind of wanted to get something uh, that would be a little bit more trustworthy. So I went online and I picked up the uh, Stabila 10 inch torpedo level. I'll be the first one to tell you, I don't know if it's Stabila, 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 tomato, tomato, potato. I don't know, whatever. I am a huge fanboy of this company. Uh, I have owned uh, their four foot level for years and they have replaced it now two times. So I've been really, really happy with their customer service. I have their laser, I have their eight foot, I have the uh, jam set uh, and the four foot. So I've, uh, I've just about got all their bases covered. So it was really no shock to me that this thing was a $40 ticket. Now this is a $40 torpedo level. This is a $4 torpedo level. Is it worth $40? To me, yes, it is. I've been really happy with that brand and I will continue to purchase their stuff, but let's, uh, let's get a closer look together. Well, now that we're in for a better look, let's, uh, let's see what we've got. First thing out of the box is it came to me in one of those brown kind of, um, envelopes that has has the uh, bubble wrap inside it and so frankly i was a little disappointed in that i think for a 40 dollars level you know they could pony up and put it in a proper box but you know whatever um the other thing is when i did get it there are a couple tiny scratches right here where um it obviously rubbed into something now I know that doesn't really affect the performance of it, but you would think with a $40 level, their company would take a little more pride in their packaging. It's just wrapped with a, like a cellophane cover there. And this is kind of one of my big gripes about magnets on levels is that you end up picking up all sorts of schmoo everywhere. Um, you've got two rare earth magnets in there that are pretty doggone strong. Uh, you've got one, I guess, to uh, tell you if you're level and another one to tell you, you know, if you're plumb. Feels like it's uh, all aluminum. It's machined. The one thing I'm kind of wondering is this one magnet right here feels like it's sticking out a little proud of where it needs to be. Let's grab a straight edge. So I'm kind of cleaning it off here and... Sure as I thought, yeah, those magnets are sticking up a little bit. That's not good. So I've got it mounted up to the bridge port and sure enough, those magnets are sitting up a little bit off of the surface. Looks like a thou and a half. That one, about a thousand on that one. Kind of disappointed to be honest with you. I mean, that seems like a, uh, Pretty basic thing to get the magnets flush with this surface. Uh, some of you guys might know better than I can, but it seems like they should have set the magnets and then machined it. This has been machined. So one final test that I wanted to do was just to check the accuracy of the level. This is the cheapo $4 one. Just kissing that line to the right. Now the way you can check is, you know, you pick it up, turn it around. Make sure she's in the same spot and look at that. And it's pretty close, but actually I can see that the uh, bubble is a little bit more to the right. You know, before it was just barely kissing that line and now it's definitely into the line on the right. And this is a brand new level. Now let's take a look Stabila here. All right. now. One thing I can already tell you is she's a rocker. 
think that's probably because of those magnets. So right there, he's just it's not touching the line on the right. It's close, but not touching. It depends on the way you look at it. When you rock it, it's the right way. But as it sits naturally, that bubble is a, it's about a 64th, maybe even a 32nd onto that line on the right. I think the problem's coming from the, uh, the magnets. It's pretty close. I'm gonna go out there and say though, it's not perfect. It's definitely not perfect. <sighs> well, I gotta tell you guys the truth. I'm pretty doggone disappointed. It's a little out of level. Uh, the bottom's not flat. Crap packaging. It's a $40 level. $40 is a lot of money and not to get it right. You know, if it was $40 and it was flat and I think the rocking might be what's messing up the actual level. But dude, you gotta get it flat. Otherwise it's not gonna sit the same way. Uh, but I gotta tell you, you know, I don't think I would recommend, uh, recommend this purchase. Uh, hope this helps you guys. Hey, thanks for watching.